Sammy Watkins finished wide receiver 50 last year. 52 receptions, 90 targets, 16% target share, 673 yards, three touchdowns. Your thoughts around Sammy Watkins? I, I've i never been a Sammy Watkins guy. Like, I, I don't know. It, it's just never splashed. He wasn't my guy when he was at the Rams. He's definitely not my guy now. Like, he, he's very much the Sam Bradford of wide receivers and the fact that he's been paid a lot of money to do absolutely nothing. <laughs> you know, to get a piece of the offense, that's not a bad thing to get a piece of the offense if you get the right value on him. I'm not taking him in in my top, you know, nine rounds uh you know maybe if i can get a beat on him in the 11th and feel good about that i'm okay um but for the most part he's he's just uh he, he's not my cup of tea and i think i can find better options for what i'm looking to do at a wide receiver two or three position in, in other parts of the draft sammy sammy's a little confusing because you'd like to see that touchdown number come up and honestly he had those three touchdowns in week one and then didn't have a touchdown the rest of the season and that has that that is perplexing, really, uh, when you look at it and with how explosive that that Kansas City offense was, and couple that with the fact that Tyreek Hill was was down for a couple weeks. Like that's that's really really perplexing that his touchdowns were literally week one, and then that was it. I don't know that I'm too bullish on on uh, Sammy Watkins, but he has value, I guess. It's just a matter of will it pay off for you, uh, and I don't think it will week in and week out. And you look at the four games that uh, Tyreek missed. Watkins was wide receiver 44, 44, 57, 109. Like those weeks, he was he wasn't even a guy in wide receiver three territory, and a guy that you shouldn't have really been, you know, considering uh, playing on a lot of those leagues. There, 